It is Wednesday, and you know what that means. What is going on everyone? Broken Mike here, and welcome along to the channel, and welcome along to this week's episode of BUW. This is episode 117. So of course guys, as always, we have got 10 matches for you in total, and it will be spread across 4 separate parts as always. And uh, we will be kicking things off with our only championship match of the evening. It will be Jackson Oak, the BUW Global Champion, defending his title against the former champion, K9. And the stipulation here is it's 2 out of 3 falls. Who's going to leave with the championship? Let's find out. So if you guys do enjoy this one, then don't forget to leave a like for Mike, slap any comments down below, and do be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell to stay up to date with all things gaming, and of course all things BUW. The mummy, of course, was just opening a can of drink there. <clears throat> you know how we do. And we're coming to you live from London, England. The following champion versus champion contest is a two out of three falls match and is for the Global Championship. Making his way down to the ring first, the challenger, representing the Broken Psychos. One half of the BUW World Tag Team Champions, K9. And of course K9 looking to become a member of a very small club of people that have uh, held two championships simultaneously at the same time. Looking to win his second global championship here tonight. Of course, like I said, this is a rematch from a few weeks ago. Here he comes. And making his way down to the ring, the BUW global champion, Jackson Oak. Jackson Oak won his second global championship a few weeks ago on an episode of BUW looking to, to successfully retain his championship against K9 right, obviously with superstars both uh, scoring a win over each other of course K9 initially won the title from Jackson Oak before winning it back so of course Jackson Oak asked for this matchup best out of two out of three falls you know the rules of course first superstar to score two decisions will leave as the global champion and Jackson will be looking to keep hold of his gold here tonight the champ certainly has his hands full here tonight but he looks more than ready and he's looking 
to break K9 once and for all. Introducing the challenger from Florida, weighing in at 201 pounds, K. And introducing the champion from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 199 pounds. He is the global champion, Jackson. Jackson Oak, who won the championship initially at uh, Wrestleverse, had a tremendous run with that championship, seeing off every challenge put in front of him before he ran into K9. But of course, he won it back just weeks later. And this is the rubber match. Two out of three falls. Of course, Kane on looking to leave as a double champion, and here we go. Kane on with a Hurricane Runner. Jackson over the top rope hangs on, but gets hung out to the and gets sent to the floor. Of course, no count outs. And another Hurricane Runner there from K9. Michinoku driver drives the knee to the face Jackson with the counter oh headbutt oh monkey flip there from Jackson Oak I thought he was going to flip him over those steel stairs K9 back inside. And Jackson now back in. The hand stand. Oh, look at that kick. Beautiful overhead kick there from Jackson Oak. And there's a headbutt. And there's another monkey flip. The lock up. Scoop slam. And a headbutt there, and it looked like shades of the late great uh, junkyard dog there. Into the cover. Not even a one count. Clubbing blow to the back, and again to the back because Jackson. Look at him go here, it's like a like a rabid dog there. The lock up. Oh, Spanish fly from Oak. Over the, to the ring apron goes Jackson. Head to the top rope. Looks for a splash, but K9 rolled out the way. I think that was more on instinct than anything. And hits a Michinoku driver. Does the challenger. Right hands. Jackson sent over the top and again sends Crash into the floor. Champion a bit of trouble here. Elbow drop from the challenger. Stomping away now is K9. Lock up. Oh, and into the still steps goes Jackson Oak. K9 adjusting his uh, footwear, I think. Look at Jack, sorry, Jack's on the receiving end. K9 with the upper hand at this precise moment in time. Oh, no one there. Unbelievable. Oh, there's a kick from K9. Kicked in the midsection. And another monkey flip from Jackson Oak. Lock up again. Into the barricade. 
Right in front of the BUW fans. A kick to the back of the head. Oh, beautiful Spanish fly. Again. Jackson Oak. He's honestly, he there's not much bad you can say about Jackson Oak's offense. It's it's very unique to say the least. Headbutt. Jackson heads to the top rope. Sent on bomb. Into the cover. Looking to score the first pinfall. Oh, and that was close. Jackson can't believe it. He thought he had it. A dual breaker counter there from K9. And there's a Lufaz press. K9 with the lefts and rights. Knocking K9 out of his whip. Sails here. Into the cover goes K9. Looking to score the first decision, but only gets a one count, and he can't believe it. And K9 now with the left hands. And now he's busted up, open the champion. And K9. Will we see it? Five, knuckle, shuffle. Well, he's not going for the cover. That could, have been, that could be a mistake. Into the cover. Sorry, into the corner, I should say. It's Mike O'Clock. And what is K9 looking for here? No, there's no way. Looking for a soup a super AA. Oh look at that counter from Oak! Unbelievable! That could have well spelt the end of Jackson Oak there. There's a handstand overhead kick. Guess a one count. Kicks in the midsection from K9. Looking for a DDT. Jackson up with a counter. Now K9. This is back to this is back and forth action here. Between these tremendous wrestlers. Who want both want to be global champion. And Jackson Oak looking for the dude buster. Will we see it? We do. Oh, and K9 kicks out at two. Thought that was going to be a, a free count. Oh, and a punt kick. Shades of K9's cousin Jesse. Holy moly! Almost kicked K9's head off. Cover. And Jackson scores the first decision. He wins one more. This match is over. And look at Jackson staying on the offense. That very smart from the global champion. Oh, and he's bending back those fingers. And knees to the back. Van Sane break his fingers. Very bloodthirsty is this crowd. And of course, speaking of bloodthirsty, we've got a tremendous main event coming your way. Where we got a rematch from last week between Bubbly Zen and Country Girl. And that should be amazing as well. Looking for an Inzaguri, no one home. Right hand down goes Jackson. And K9. Again, gonna look for that five knuckle shuffle. Oh, he missed it! Jackson got out of the way he I don't think we've ever seen that here in BUW and look at Jackson and those barrage of elbows K9 trying to fight his way back into this matchup he can't afford any more slip ups and the lock up Hurricane Rana 
Lock up again. Waist lock. Belly to belly. What a belly to belly suplex. One count only for K9. Right hand down goes the champion. Oh, super kick from Jackson Oak. And he's looking for another dude buster. There it is. Cover. And it's over. A clean sweep for Jackson Oak. Jackson Oak wins two straight over the former global champion K9. And what an opening contest. That beautiful belly to belly suplex there from K9. Nicely done there. It wasn't enough. Here is your winner and still global champion, Jackson O. And here is your winner of the match and still BUW global champion, Jackson Oak. So now Jackson Oak. Now has K9 in his rearview mirror. You gotta think, who will step up next? So Jackson Oak comes through that two out of three falls matchup. So we head on to our next match, and it'll be our first bit of action from the women's division. And this next one should be a doozy as well. In this one it will be Lily representing Sister Act and she takes on the BUW women's YouTube champion Melissa Diamond representing Merciful Fate so of course we did find out on last week's episode who Melissa's next challenger will be for that championship. She will take on Chloe down the some point down the line. Of course, uh, Melissa's sister Abigail will also be in action later on this evening, where she takes on the former BUW Women's World Champion Lauren. comes a true superstar. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. Lillian. Making her way down to the ring first. Representing Sister Act. Lily. Lily, a tough young lady, of course. Looking to score a big win here against the current women's YouTube champion, Melissa Diamond. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. Melissa will, of course, be in for a fight, that's for sure.
Podcast fears the women's internet champion, Melissa Diamond. In the ring next, representing Merciful Fate, the BUW Women's YouTube Champion, Melissa Diamond. Melissa looking to delete Lily here tonight. And of course send a message to her next challenger for that YouTube title. Of course we're talking about Chloe. And here we go. Lily's starting off quicker here. A lot of shots to the, to the stomach of Melissa Diamond and lovely amateur takedown. Oh, and a slap to the back of the head. Lily heads to the top rope. Oh, double axe handle. It was more of a glancing blow. But Melissa fighting back and a beautiful tilt the well head scissors. And again, Lily with some shots right to the midsection. Melissa with the counter. Lily looking impressive in the early going. Oh, and that could be the turning point. Melissa looking to come back into this matchup. Lovely net breaker. Melissa Diamond sends crashing over the top rope. She wants to take this one outside the uh -oh. she can And Lily with that armbar, the, the arm breaker, that Kushi Katami. <clears throat> and Melissa able to fight out. Of course, he wouldn't have gotten her the decision on the outside of what a Alabama slam from Lily. A kick. The lock up. Oh, right into the LED post. And Lily's looking really impressive here. A win tonight could possibly push her up the la push up the ladder and maybe get her to uh, challenge later on down the line for that YouTube title. <clears throat> Lily back on the outside. And Melissa with some kicks. Scoop slam. Right hands from from Melissa Diamond. And there's a counter there from Lily. A counter back from Melissa. Now it's back and forth. Melissa the left hands. Oh, and adding a slap there to add insult to injury. The lock up. And crashing into the still steps goes Lily. everything Melissa's throwing at Lily she's always got an answer for it and then, and then again so does Melissa dragon screw from from Lily and now she's dishing out some left hands <clears throat> Melissa trying to shake off those cobwebs look like Lily was stalking Melissa there for a moment both ladies back in the ring, the waist lock. And a lovely amateur takedown again from Lily. Knee to the face. Right hands. And a kick there. <clears throat> Lily heads to the top rope. Looks for a splash. All she met was Melissa Diamond's knees. And look at this, code red from Melissa Diamond. And a shot to the back of the knee. You can see she's holding that knee very tentatively. And Melissa answering back with kicks of her own. Melissa heads to the top rope. What's she looking for here? Phoenix splash. Or a twisted moonsault. Whatever it was, it... Only got Melissa on one count. And there it is. Diamond effect. 
But Melissa is not going for the pin. Heads to the top rope once more. Swanton Bomb, no! Knees to the back. <clears throat> Lily with those kicks. And there's a clothesline. Lily into the cover. What a win this will be. No! Two count only for Lily. And she can't believe it. Wait a second. There's a triangle choke. Will Melissa Diamond submit here? She's got nowhere to go. Can Melissa hang on? Oh, she lets her out. That could, that could well be a mistake. And left hands from Lily. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. And Lily scores a huge upset victory over the women's YouTube champion. That is unbelievable. Just unbelievable action there. And what a win for Lily. Who saw that coming? Lily has got a habit of getting up, picking up big wins here and there. And that was a big one right there. Here is your winner, Lillian. Anyway, here's your winner of the match. Representing Sister Act, Lily. And what a win that is. And I'm sure her teammate, Mia, will be very happy with the outcome of this match. But as for Melissa, it's back to the drawing board. And she's got to concentrate on her next title defense in a few weeks at breaking the rules. In the meantime, guys, we're going to move on to our next match. Another match from the men's division. Of course, it'll be our last match before we take our first break of the show. And this one, it's going to be... former BUW World Champion Papa V representing the V team and he'll be going one on one with Corey representing the Aussie Outbackers now of course on last week's episode we saw uh, their respective teammates have a battle on last week's show and saw Verisimilitude get the uh, victory over Aussie so Corey will be looking to even things up here with a win over Papa V. And of course, Papa V looking for a clean sweep for the V team over the Aussie Outbackers. Of course, the former Intercontinental Tag Team Champions. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ireland. Weighing in at 258 pounds. Daddy V. And guys, Making his way down to the ring first. Representing the V team. Papa V. Papa V, a former BUW World Champion, former King of the Ring, 
held multiple other championships here in BUW, such as United States and UK championships. I'm sure Papa V would like to uh, taste some more gold down the line. Papa V telling the crowd to get louder. And louder. And louder. And louder. And you know how the how it goes. Papa V a fan favourite here in BUW. One of the all-time greats. And his opponent from Melbourne, Australia, weighing in at 231 pounds, Corey! And making his way down to the ring next, representing the Aussie Outbackers, Corey. Look how chill Corey is as he makes his way to the ring. But once that bell rings, he is all business. Of course, lost his opportunity at the Hardcore Championship at Castle Connage a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> I got pinned by uh, the current champion, Stephen Nitro. Looking to bounce back here tonight. Referee calls on the bell, and here we go. And there's a lockup. And Papa V with a pendulum bat breaker stretch. Papa V with an elbow drop. And a second one. Oh, and he suckered us all in again. Papa V with a, kick, a couple of kicks in the midsection. And showing his power. You wonder where his son, Ferris Miller, too, gets it. Discus right hand. Straight up right hand there from Papa V. And there's Corey with a jawbreaker counter looking to come back into this match. Knee to the face. Oh wow, what a poison runner from Corey. Corey heads to the top. Double axe handle. Down goes Papa V, the former world champ. Some left hands and a slap to Papa V for good measure. And what a win this would be for Corey if you can knock off Papa V here. And we just saw in the previous match, Lily scored an upset win of the women's YouTube champion, Melissa Diamond. Corey looking for the win here. Not even a one count. And Corey can't believe it. Right hand, down goes Papa V. Springboard into a DDT. Right hands from Corey, the Aussie outbacker, the hammerlock scoop slam. Papa V answering back. Has got the arm of Corey. Leg drop onto the arm. What is Papa V looking for here? There's a nerve hold. But the referee calls for a rope break. Corey with the counter. Oh, and what a kick. Corey heading now to the top. Elbow drop to the spine of Papa V. That could be it. And a two count only. 
And Corey again can't believe it. Papa V with a counter. The lock up. Hair pull next slam. Can Papa V close this match off? Into the cover. Not even a one count. A mistake on Papa V's part. Taking a bit too long to make the pinfall. Kick to the back of the knee. Corey back up. Look at that. Oh, beautiful DDT from Corey. And stomps on the elbow. Cover. Can Corey do it? No, one count only. Looking for the basement drop kick. No one home. And a boot to the face from Papa V. Into the cover. And Corey kicks out after two. And Papa V can't believe it. Papa V going to look for that leg drop. There it is. He hits it. Hooks the leg. Cover. And Papa V scores the win over Corey. And a clean sweep for, t uh, for the V team over the Aussie Outbackers in successive weeks. Great matchup. On a couple of occasions, Corey thought he had it. There was a boot to the face. As we see it from a different angle here again. And that leg drop usually finishes it. As I should know, I felt that leg drop for Papa V's in the past. And it's devastating. But anyway, folks, here is your winner of the match. Representing the V team. Papa V. And this could be a long celebration. For the Wiley veteran. He wants more. He wants that crowd to get louder. And the fans love him. Papa V loves the limelight. One more time. And there we go. Anyway, folks, that is going to do it for this first part of BUW. If you have enjoyed it, then don't forget to leave a like for Mike. Slap any comments down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell to stay up to date with all things gaming and of course all things BUW. Like I said before folks we're going to take a quick break but when we return we've got a couple of huge matchups including a Fatal 4-Way number 1 contenders match where we'll see who we find out who Lucas Hackett's next challenger for the UK title will be. And of course the women's tag team champions will be in action. So, of course, that and a whole lot more, folks. So until then, do take care, and I'll see you all after this short break.